pool table can be the setting for a gentlemanly contest of skill and strategy, or a set piece in a seamy world of sharks and hustlers. Our story takes place in the South Side Pool Hall, a world where dishonesty often triumphs over decency, and where the clack of ivory spheres can sound the sinking of a man's life. It's casually as the sinking of the three ball in the corner pocket. Maybe I love the game of pool too much. I bought the Southside Pool Hall 35 years ago. I never made a lot of dough out of it, but at least I was around the game every day. A year ago, I got a bad break. My wife needed surgery, and I took out a loan against the business. Well, things went from bad to worse, and I ended up having to sell the place for nothing. Cocky young hustler. Go, Nikki. Nikki Russ. Next, I'm gonna lose some time. I'm gonna play one arm behind my back. Come on, anybody. Leon, get us a couple of beers. Come on, have two it, pops. Thirsty. Come on, right up. Almost, almost. I needed money, so I stayed on and did odd jobs around the place. Funny how things work out. I never thought I'd be making less than minimum wage at a place I used to own. Can you see I'm shooting here? Yeah, put it over there. Yeah. All right. Can you use your head once in a while, Leon? Great. All right. Okay. I mean to ask you, what's up with this gold cue? Oh, yeah. Stick. That stick belonged to the great Jack Lester. Five times world champ from 1970 to 1975. He started out hustling right here when he was 15 years old. He was the greatest natural pool player I ever seen. Leon, what are you doing? Come on, get back to work. What am I paying you for? It was tough having Nicky Russ as a boss, but I was 65 years old. Where else could I go? At least I was still around the game. Uh, not a bad night, especially when you add in what I want. dogs allowed in here. He'll be waiting outside. The stranger looked kind of familiar to me, but I knew he wasn't a regular. Smells just like it used to. Still has plenty of play. You ever shoot here before? Yeah, a long time ago. I knew this man, but I just couldn't place him. It was driving me crazy. You looking for some action? Let's shoot some pool. The stranger got nothing off the break, so now it was Nikki's turn. Nikki was really hot tonight. Seemed no matter what he did, the balls would fall just right. Of course, the stranger asked for a rematch. The second game went quicker than the first. I'd seen Nikki like this before. He just couldn't lose. When a guy is this hot, you don't bet against him. The stranger insisted on doubling the stakes. Nicky never took a breath, he just kept on singing. I just scored 10 grand in two hours. Baby. You're the best, Nicky! <laughs> Hey, look, it's late, and uh, you're probably out of cash, so... How about one last game? For $50,000. Yeah, 
I don't have 50 grand on me. You've got a pool. You're hustling me. What do you care? Can you beat me? Play him, Nikki. You can't lose. It's 50 grand. All right. You're on, hot shot. There's just one condition. I want to change cues. Sure, go ahead. That's when I figured out who the stranger was. It had been a long time since I'd seen him. But it was the great Jack Lesko. There they are. Think there's any magic left in the old stick? Maybe. They'd been playing nine ball all night. And the stranger had yet to sink in a ball on the break. Nine ball on the break. The man wins. I believe this. I'm gonna give the bill of sale to Leo. It's his place again. I don't have to do that. Yes, you do. You lost. Take care, Leon. Thanks, Jack. I don't know how you did that. It didn't make any sense. I couldn't figure it out. Who was that guy? You two scammed me? No. You got beat fair and square by the great Jack Lesko. Jack Lesko? That's impossible. Why? Because Jack Lesko stopped playing pool about 15 years ago when he went blind. Nikki Russ and Donna left town the following morning. And they never set foot inside Leon's pool hall again. What really happened at the Southside pool hall that night? Was it really Jack Lesko who came back to shoot pool? If so, how could a blind man shoot with such skill and accuracy? There have been cases of blind people regaining their sight for brief periods of time. Is that what happened? Or is there some paranormal power in the golden queue itself. Are we presenting a story based on an actual event? Or are we just playing another game of dirty pool?